Hey, we're back for another episode of Cooking Under Quarantine, and this is going to be a great episode. We're, we're doing some steak tips, and we're going to do a straight steak tip marinade here. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is we get these steak tips together. What you need for the recipe is what I laid out here on the table. You need this is about three pounds of fresh steak tip, and I just cut them up into steak tip size cubes. Um, I just pre-cut them. You're going to need some seasoning salt, some garlic powder, some onion powder, pepper flakes, salt and pepper. Oregano, a bit of wheat dressing, and some fresh chopped up garlic. Uh, and basically, it's pretty. It's a pretty simple recipe. This can be done. Um, I mean, this doesn't take long to marinate at all. It could be a few hours, and it was to soak in. Uh, or well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, and then we'll actually grill them tomorrow because today is kind of a rainy day. So I'm going to prep these for tomorrow. So they'll sit in the fridge tonight and tomorrow, and they're really going to soak up the sauce. And uh, it's pretty, pretty easy actually. Let's rinse this off. Pretty easy marinade when you put this together. Use some seasoned salt. You can use the seasoned salt of your choice. Um, this is La uh, Larry's, Larry's, Larry's. And it just, again, we just want to coat everything. So this one you're going to put a good amount. This is garlic powder. Seems about right. I know that these aren't like exact measures sometimes, but again, this is cooking under quarantine. We're, we're, we're all isolated here, you know. Can't get exact with everything. This is a good pour. I just want to pour on all these. I mean, you can't get this wrong. It's not like we're gonna. Well, this one you could get wrong. You gotta be very careful with this one. Just a little hint of heat. Just a little bit. Too much is gonna be too much. Uh, believe it or not, you put some oregano in here. We're just gonna take this off. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And oof, red pepper. Your nose, nostrils, stinging of the nostrils, uh, and the salt. Salt is one of the ones that you really want to get in here. I keep telling you, I'm going to sneeze from that red pepper. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Excuse me. If I did that outside because it's COVID time, people would probably give me the death stare. Good thing I'm in my own house. That's a good amount of salt. So now we do the pepper. And um, both these want to be generous on. One ball, it's nine fluid ounces. I'm gonna dump the whole over here. Then I'm gonna take the six heads of garlic that I chopped up. And you have to use fresh garlic. You can't use the mint, the uh, the minced one in the can. You gotta use fresh. It makes it just makes a difference. I don't don't ask me why. I've done it without it and I know it's the difference right away. Oh Jesus. See sometimes this happens. That bag cracked when I punched it. So, it's not a highway production. We have to do this Polish style, I guess. All right. I didn't want to do it this way. I guess I should have done it this way from the beginning. I didn't want to, but I should have. 
Now I'm paying for it. Okay, don't worry. It's still gonna be good. We we're able to get around that. But I may have lost a little sauce. But good thing for me, I like the stuff. So I have a few bottles of it. Oh. But I will save some for the salad tomorrow so I don't use all of this. another bottle. I didn't do much but I did something. And add another bottle here. What I'm gonna do is mush this in. Now believe it or not that whole nine ounces and that like one ounce that I put on there this is gonna get absorbed into the, the meat tonight. I'll have to come back tomorrow and add a little more and mix it in. Now strangely enough when you put these on to the uh, to the grill I'm just because of the oil and the salt, but it acts like an accelerant. So when you put them on, it flares up right away. So you gotta be careful. And I'll, you know, I'll make sure when we cook it tomorrow, I'll show you that, uh, how that works. But that's it. We put them in there. And basically, we just put them in the fridge. And, and this is a two and a half quart bowl. As you can see, it's all the way full. Uh, put them in the fridge, we'll let that marinate for 24. Yeah, it's what time is it now? 5.30, so tomorrow 5.30, after 24 hours, um, I'll, we'll check them tomorrow, if not once, twice, and I'll flip them, uh, and then I'll probably add some more of what I have here, because I want to save some, because I like to have Greek salad with these steak tips on wet rice pilaf, it just makes the meal. Um, and that's it, so we'll see you in 24 hours at the grill. Hey, we're back. It's been 24 hours. It's 5 o'clock. Well, 24, 23 and a half, 530 I said. It's 5 o'clock now. But that's fine. It's still going to work. So I got the grill heated up. It's about 500 degrees right now. Uh, I'm going to cut it back. I already did. A little bit about halfway. Medium, I guess you'd call it. And I told you guys yesterday, when you put these tips on, I don't know if it's the combination of Greek dressing and uh, spices, they flare up like crazy. At least... They have before. And this is the only truck merit that I know that does this. Because if you put teriyaki on or any any of the other dressings, oh Jesus Christ, you won't get that. But when I go to uh, tailgate at football games and I bring these, these are showstoppers. People love them and they're easy to make easy marinate and everyone always asks how do you make them and I didn't tell anybody but I guess now I'm telling the world so but my friends probably won't watch these videos anyway so they won't find out even though it looks like I have it on super high it is not super high right now that's just the flames and that'll die down once these get going and you can save the juice in here if you want to run the, like, kind of get them on them again. But there's not enough to make it even unless I took a little bit more Greek dressing and fat it out. But I typically don't need to uh, add any more dressing to them. They've been, they've been soaking them all night. And I'm just going to wait for that to sort of, uh, before I shut that down, to stop flaming up. Uh, but they've been soaking on them all night. So as far as... Uh, needing the marinade again you don't they've so thick i mean that whole bottle remember i put that whole bottle in a half a bottle of the other one it is gone i mean I'll, this is all that's left so that didn't do anything uh i will let them cook on the open the only problem about this is you lose some of the heat but at the same point if i slam it shut right now i don't want them to burn uh so it's sort of a i'm not watching this game just for the beginning part once uh and i think once i flip it it'll happen again because then what was on this side flips over does the same thing but i'm going to watch these things he's going to cook at medium heat for probably 20 20 15 20 maybe 25 minutes i don't know yet um it is five up so i'll watch that and we'll go from there and i'll let you guys know the progress and we're back okay <laughs> that's the uh vodka talking 
Hey, all right, so these bad boys, these bad ladders are just about done. As you can see, the flare-up stock going. I had, I actually turned it down all the way to low, low and slow is the way I want to cook these things. Um, these are probably medium well right now, or medium, I guess I would say. So it's about how I like it. So we'll go ahead and pull these off. And what we're going to do is, and again, there's a couple varieties, because the way this Weber cooks, um, it's not, I mean, it tells you it's 100% even. It's not 100% even. Um, sometimes in the back it cooks less, and believe it or not, sometimes it cooks more in the front. Would you think that when we get here, it cook less here? But it's the weirdest thing. So um, sometimes you can find different steak cuts at different levels, which is nice for everyone in the house because some people like it a little more rare or a little more well done than other ones do. Um, I'm pretty good anyway. I, sometimes I like them all the way done. Sometimes I like them a little medium. I don't really like them bloody. I tell you that, but I do like them cooked. The nice thing about cooking with uh, something that's been soaked with some kind of an oil, whether it's chicken in Italian dressing or something like that, is that the um, the oil prevented a lot of it from over burning, which is nice. So it's a nice little uh, it's a nice little feature uh, about using oil. So whenever you have one of these grills, you want to make sure that as soon as you're done, um, you crank it up all the way to hot, and then you give it about two minutes. And you uh, get everything super hot and then you clean it. You clean it right away before you're done because if you wait till after it cools down and come back and clean it, it's already hardened on there. When it's hot, it's easier to get it clean. Um, I'm going to clean this bad boy out real quick. We're going to bring the stick tips in. Uh, the rice is on right now. As soon as the rice done, I'm going to put the salad out. We're going to put the rice out. We're going to plate this bad boy and show you what this looks like, the finished product. I'll see you inside. Okay, we're back to the plating ceremony. We're putting this whole bad Larry together. We got the stick tips. They came out perfect. We got the pilaf and we have the Greek salad. Greek salad I actually bought, I did not make that. But we're gonna go ahead and plate this. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then we just have to put on a couple steak tips. Gonna show you bad guys how this is. Look at that. Look at the way that presents. Greek salad, pilaf, steak tips, Mediterranean steak tips, Greek steak tips, whatever you want to call them. Um, but they're really good. They have a nice, really nice flavor. Uh, let's see how this batch came out. See the color in there too. Just a tiny bit of pink in there. Oh, mm. I'm telling you, it takes that salt come out of there, it takes that garlic, that Greek dressing. Mm. This is one of my favorite steak recipes, I'm telling you right now, it is so easy to make, it's low cost and it comes out so good, people will ask me like this, what do you this recipe? Don't tell them, it's our secret. Anyways. It was actually given me by a friend, a lady friend of mine, thank V. It was a great recipe, and uh, I've used it for years now, and I love it a lot. Anyway, for my family, yours, I hope you guys enjoyed this. My kids love this, and yours will too. Uh, your kids will too. Stay safe in this whole crazy COVID emergency, and I'll see you at the next recipe.